Today, I'm here to answer a question that has been shocking me for a while. Do electric eels feel their own zaps? Now, electric eels are basically underwater tasers with gills. These guys can unleash up to 860 volts of pure aquatic nightmare fuel, enough to stun prey, scare off predators, and probably make you question why you ever thought swimming in the Amazon was a good idea. But here's the thing. If an eel is basically a living lightning rod, why doesn't it fry itself every time it decides to light up the water? To understand this, we have to dive into some electrifying science. I promise that's the last bad pun. Maybe. Every animal, including you, produces tiny amounts of electricity. Your muscles, nerves, and even your heart rely on electrical signals to function. But eels, they took this concept and cranked it up to 11. Instead of using electricity just to move their muscles, they evolved electrocytes, special cells whose only job is to generate electricity, and they didn't stop at a few. 80% of an eel's body is made up of these electricity-producing cells, stacked together like a biological battery pack. When an eel fires up, the current doesn't travel neatly through a wire like a normal battery. It spreads through the water, zapping anything unlucky enough to be nearby. But if an eel's electric field can shut down the nervous system of a fish, wouldn't it also mess with its own? Well, yes and no. Here's the trick. The eel's body offers way more resistance than the surrounding water. Think of it like this. If electricity had to choose between running through a wide open highway, the water, or a bumpy dirt road, the eel's body, it'll take the highway every time. So, while a small amount of current does travel through the eel, most of it zaps outward, avoiding any major self-inflicted damage. But that's not the eel's only defense. Most of its vital organs, like the heart and brain, are crammed together near its head, far away from the main electrical action. Plus, they're wrapped in a thick layer of insulating fat, kind of like nature's built-in rubber gloves. So does an electric eel feel its own shocks? Probably, but just a tiny bit, like getting hit with a static shock rather than a full-on taser blast. And honestly, if they could talk, they'd probably just say, yeah, it tingles a little. Now, if you found this video electrifying, okay, that was the last one, I swear, hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know what other weird animal questions you have in the comments. And if you want to support the channel, consider joining our membership, because keeping this content flowing takes more energy than an eel's entire body.